scrappy friends. How are you guys doing? I have a layout that I made last month and I wanted to share it with you guys before I forgot. So I'm finally getting into the habit of doing some more videos. So let's hope that I can stay on this train now that summer is hopefully coming soon and I'll have a little bit more time. But anyway, so this is a picture that I took a while ago. I don't know, in the winter time. I will apologize right now that you're not going to see everything down at the bottom because was I paying attention to <laughs> what was cut off at the bottom of my camera feed? No. It's like, as I haven't been doing as many videos, I've realized that I think my thing gets pushed a little bit, so I just did not notice. So, but, so I took that photo and made it black and white on purpose. Um, sometimes here in, Wa because I live in Washington State, it's dark and cloudy and also <clears throat> just dark. <laughs> Uh, and rainy that sometimes my photos don't always come out exactly the way that I would like them, but they're still precious. So a uh, one way to combat the lighting is to make it black and white. So plus when you use a black and white photo, it helps so that you can use whatever colors you want because you're not competing with the colors in your photo. If that's something to worry about. Some people really don't care. <laughs> and and most of the time I don't either, but sometimes it is just nice to have a nice black and white and then you can use whatever pops of color. So this is Maggie Holmes. And this was her collection from last fall, winter, fall, winter, I guess, whenever that came out. I picked a little bit of that up along with some crepe paper winter stuff. So I haven't been buying a ton, but I've been trying to buy a couple times a year. So um, I bought stuff around the holidays so that I could do some Christmassy stuff because I just love Christmas. So, um, so yeah. And I'm also using some of the other that crepe paper is from Hooray. I'm just trying to piece some of the stuff that I have laying around also. And that puffy sticker that I stapled on the bottom of there, that corner that says treat yourself is from Hooray. I'm gonna use a bit of this Hooray. I'm gonna use that little bubble thingy. I don't know. I still am questioning that, but you know, I made it work. So sometimes it's like a happy accident and you're still not sure it's extremely happy, but you're like, hey, it works. So um, I'm definitely one of those people that a lot of times once I stick it down, it's just, it's just going to stay down because I try not to worry too much about, about it because, you know, I don't know. It's just a layout. I guess. I mean, I want it to look nice, but I also know that if, you know, if I really don't like it one, I can always redo the picture, right? Or, you know, there's always going to be another layout that I'm going to do. So I guess that's just my philosophy on it. I am going to add some of those tags. They're super fun. This is fun. So that piece that says eat cake, I'm also going to use that, but I am going to add some alphas to that so it won't say cake later. <laughs> so this is the stuff that you're not seeing. I do have a strip of that paper that's up at the top down at the bottom as well and I'm tucking some stuff down in that other corner and they are both on that same side but here's the thing is that my photo cluster is really heavy so it it's gonna balance it out because up at the top and the bottom on the other side, opposite of the photo, there is that stuff there. And I'm also adding these tags, 
pieces from the tags and just some paper um, up there just for some more interest. That has been sitting around in my room for a while, that clip. So I think those were Paige Evans, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, a lot of this stuff is not new <laughs> because I haven't been buying a lot. But, you know, I think it's fun when you can mix older collections with newer collections and just get the most. So right now you see I'm putting some stickers on there. They're in that Maggie Holmes collection, but lately they've had a lot of those clear packs of stickers, which are kind of fun because you can add them to photos really nicely. And I like that look of like some elf, some kind of phrase or something. I mean, they're pretty generic frames. I'm going to add that piece underneath. I don't know if it really needed it, but I added it. I don't know. Like looking at it over top, I'm like, why did I do that? I didn't really care for that. <laughs> but you can't really see it that much. Just a little teeny tiny piece sticks out. So I guess in all reality, it really didn't matter that I put it or didn't put it there. Right. So I'm also going to spell out the word silly and I was going to put it up at the top. So you see me doing that and it just wasn't going to fit nicely <clears throat> with the letters that were there. And yeah, I just didn't like it. So I took it off. See, and this is the thing when you don't like it, if you don't like it, you can always move it or I don't know. Somehow you can fix it. There, there's always a way. I'm definitely, you know, glass is half full all the time, even if it's just full there, right? Anyway, I liked it back up. I liked it on the photo a little bit better. And then I'm just going to finish off with some stars that I have just to add a little bit of fun. And there's glitter around that little puffy sticker that says treat yourself. So it's going to help tie in some of the, the glitter. So it's all throughout. And I'm using gold and silver because uh, there is gold on some of the letters and stuff. So it all balances out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. It's fun to make. Um, and so it's fun to document the silly antics that my animals do. I will see you guys later and I hope you have a great scrappy week. Bye.